Hello, good people, and welcome to Finder Skills Hub here. We learn, we connect, and we grow. When you create dashboards in Microsoft Excel, they don't have to remain in Microsoft Excel. There are several ways to publish them and make them accessible to your colleagues and other viewers. One of the options is to generate a view-only online version. So with just a link, people can just view and interact with your dashboard. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through the process and also show you a way to get around the challenge with publishing data model dashboards, right? So if your dashboard has a data model, there's a way you can also tweak the settings to make it possible to share online for people to view. So I'll cover all that in this short video. If you are game, join me in Excel and let's go through with us together. Okay, so this is the dashboard we are going to use. It's a simple sales dashboard that offers us insights on our performance. So I get to see revenue by region, costs, profits. There's a spark line that shows me seasonality. Okay, I also have these two boxes that shows me the best customer and top product for each region. Okay, I can also switch between the years as well. Okay. I also get an indicator that helps me track the target profit margin for each of these selections. Okay. Now, even though this looks very simple, so behind the dashboard is a full data model. Okay. Data models allow you to organize your tables, connect them using relationships. Okay. In Excel, you can use Power Pivot to create a data model. So I mean, Power Pivot, if I go to manage, right, you realize that you see the full display of my data model. So this data model has some dimension tables, customer data, product data, my calendar is here, store data, a snowflake that goes into location data. And then I have my fact tables down here. Then I have my measures here. Okay, so that is the data model that is driving this dashboard. Now I'm showing you this because usually when you have a data model in your dashboard, there are some challenges with publishing it online. So in this short video, we are going to learn how to work around this. So if you want to learn how to build this dashboard from scratch, this is the capstone in my latest book, Data Modeling with Excel. Okay, so you learn how to use Power Query, use Power Pivot, create DAX calculation, queue functions, create to create this interactive dashboard. There's a lot of learning in here. This book is now available. You can go online on Amazon and then directly order, right? So now let's get to it. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to ensure that this dashboard is saved on your OneDrive. So find a folder or just paste it somewhere on your OneDrive because we need to access it online. Okay, so if it is online, then even in the folder view, okay, so this is my file. I can just right click. You should see the OneDrive option here and you go in there and then you choose view online. Okay, so view online will now open it up online. Okay, alternative is you can go directly to your OneDrive.live.com and then access it. So this is the online view of my dashboard. Okay, it is still interactive here. Okay, but this is not the version that we want to create. We want to create a view only. The user doesn't have to see all the tabs and all that, just the dashboard. So in this online mode, we can go to file. Okay, and you get the option to share. Okay, so you click on share. And this is what we are going to use. We we'll choose the embed option. Okay, so embedding allows you to generate a link or even embed it on your blog or website. So I'll choose the embed option. Okay, and this generates the dialog box you are looking at. Now, if you look at this dialog box, there are three things that you need to pay attention to. The first one is what to show. Okay, and the second one is appearance. And the third is interaction. So these are the headers over here. In what to show, you can choose to show the entire workbook. So beyond the dashboard, if you want to show other worksheets in the workbook, then you can choose the entire workbook. 
that is possible. If you want to show just your dashboard, then you can either let the dashboard be the only worksheet in the workbook, or you can commit it to a named range and then just put the name of the range here. For our purpose, we are going to use the entire workbook. So this has been selected. Okay. In terms of appearance, you can choose to hide the grid lines, hide row and column headers, and then also include a download link. I'll allow all these to be checked. But when it comes to allowing a download link, you need to be careful. If there are proprietary information in there, remember you're sharing it to the public. So you don't want all these available online. So you can uncheck this. But if you want them to download the original Excel workbook, then you have to include the download link. So I'll leave all these checked. Now the last segment is interaction. Okay. So here you can choose to allow people to click on your slices. Okay. You can allow them to type into cells. Okay. And you can also show where the display starts from. Okay. Currently it is showing in N24, but I think a better way is to let it start from A1. Okay. So I can edit this and let it show in A1. So after doing all this, I now have these options that I selected translate into a code. Okay, so that embed code is now generated at the bottom. Okay, the default dimension is stated here. Okay, now I can now select this, right click and copy. Okay, so I'll copy this. So after copying the code, you can now paste it into Notepad to make some modifications. Okay, so when I paste this, this is the original code that I get. Now, all we need to do is to delete or back off all the text, okay, before the original URL, okay, starting with HTTPS. So I'm going to delete all this, right? So that goes off. And then the surface that follows the true, starting with a double quote, also goes off, okay? Now, if you pay close attention, you realize that what you have in the code are just the settings. Okay, whether to show headers, whether to download, all set are trues. Okay, you can even at this point make some modification to the trues and change them to false if you change your mind, right? So this link is now shareable. Okay, if it's long, you can embed it in a shortener, tiny URL or bit.ly or any of those options. Okay, so I'll copy this and then open a new browser. And then I'll paste this here. Okay, so when I paste and I press enter, the expectation is that I should see the dashboard, okay, starting from A1. It looks clean without all the tabs, okay. So the user can now look at all the key performance indicators. Now, if I try to select a slicer, okay, you realize that I hit a block because this dashboard contains a data model. Data model is one of the sensitive features, especially when it comes to Excel dashboards. Okay. So this error is coming about because the default URL that was generated doesn't permit guest users to be able to access the data model dashboard. Okay. But there's a workaround with this. So what we are going to do is that that original code that's we had okay we just need to modify it with the surface okay in fact i cover all this in chapter 10 of the book so over here we can fix this by just adding this surface okay so this surface is available here i'll press ctrl c okay come to my code and then just adjust it here so it is now added to the original code here so that is all that we need to do now, let me just copy this entire code, Control c come here. Now, to compare this side by side, I'm going to open a new tab, then just paste this as well. Okay, so now it opens it, same view. Okay, but now let's see if you are able to interact with it. So, if I click on Ashanti, you see that it's now responsive. Okay, so the error is no more showing. Okay, I can also do my yes and then switch in between okay so it gives you options right the good thing is that if your dashboard updates at source because it's on one drive all your changes also update so instead of sending the workbook directly you can generate this link use a shortener to make it very simple 
and then maybe add it to your email or just paste it somewhere for the person to click and have access. So I cover all these and other useful tips to analyze, shape, transform, and then create a data model to create your dashboard in Microsoft Excel. I would encourage you to get the book, okay? So if you want to learn about Power Query, how to use it to extract, transform, and load data, if you want to learn about Power Pivot, how to use it in Excel to create your data model, you know when you create your data model, you have the option to use cube functions. I cover all that as well, as well as your DAX functions. Then we cover some design principles to create a very smooth and eye-catching dashboard. All these are covered in this book. I will encourage you to get it. But what is important is that you practice and then add it to your list of Excel tricks. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finance Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.